Hey guys, part two, or the second attempt to do part two. So, okay, um, Dale wanted me to talk about this glee fic that I'm writing that's called uh, How to Maintain Your High Maintenance Warbler. And it started off as a fill for prompt. The prompt went as, as such. It starts with the scene where Kurt is joining the warblers for the first time. And uh, they're like, in as our oldest tradition is to give our newest warbler a warbler of their own. And instead of getting Pavarotti like he does in the show, he gets blamed. Um, now this, uh, it's, when I first filled the prompt, it was a crack fix, basically, where I was just like, here's a manual to take care of blame. And it was just things like, like, allergies and feeding regimens and getting proper exercise, that kind of thing. And, um, but as I kept writing it, the more I was just like, you know what, I really want to do DS undertones here. And, um, I know that DS is not the king for everyone, Shauna. <laughs> um, but the reason why Shauna doesn't like DS kink is because of, uh, the humiliation factor kind of squicks her out. And, I mean, I can understand that a lot of, a lot of DS have a tendency to um, take things a little far sometimes as far as like making someone beg and um, making them sit on the floor, that kind of thing. And it's, there's uh, an inequality that's inherent in some of the six that try and do it. And um, the, the inequality of it is something that sort of appeals to me and sort of doesn't. The, for me, DS is a lot about, um, not about the humiliation or the inequality of it so much as it is a person being willing to give themselves up to another to have, to, to have them take care of them and to covet them and treasure them and provide for them in a way. And um, it's, it's as much as of being able to take care of someone as it is to be able to help someone become the best person that they can be, um, you know, with the right guidance. That kind of, it's, it's, a, it's a whole thing for me. Um, but understandably, not everyone's kink is my kink. What do you do? <laughs> but, um, so uh, this this is going to try and be a brief explanation. With, uh, with Kurt and Blaine in this situation, um, we have Kurt coming into it where he doesn't know quite what he's gotten into, but gradually it will be revealed that um, Blaine is the type of person that uh, takes, that craves attention, that he takes every opportunity he can to sort of um, make himself worthy of the attention without directly asking for it. So he'll do things like drive two hours to Lima in order to um, help someone, or he'll give advice, or he'll like help someone with their homework or do tutoring, and and he helps people so willingly, so much that it's often to his own detriment, and he just he forgets to take care of himself because he's so busy taking care of other people. Um, and so when Blaine first comes to uh, to Dalton, some of the other warblers realize it, and so they set up this system where they have um, a warbler take care of Blaine. And but they realize that that kind of system cannot work indefinitely. Eventually, the people who understand what's going on are going to graduate, and then Blaine's going to graduate, and they need someone who's going to at least try and be there on a semi-permanent basis. Um, and some people have worked out, some people have it, and like extraneous, extraneous circumstances um, have prevented that anything permanent from coming about. And then Kirk comes along, and uh, between how uh, he and Blaine have taken to each other like fish to water, uh, they're like, let's take a chance. And so they um, assign Blaine to Kirk, and there's, there's like suddenly, Blaine's being moved into Kurt's dorm room as a roommate. He gets the keys to all of Blaine's stuff. And they, 
this would be a spoiler except for the fact that you encounter this scene like legit within the first six, five hundred words of the, the fic. So, um, Kurt and Blaine already have an intimacy together. Uh, Kurt is giving Blaine hand jobs because he, he knows that Blaine, like, requires a sort of physical intimacy, but um, Blaine can't find that kind of thing by himself is in a satisfactory sort of way. Like, he can, but it's not enough. And, however, the problem comes to be that even when he's doing these things with Kurt, he is restraining a part of himself, the part of himself that feels emotions for Kurt, that loves him, that wants a deeper connection to Kurt besides this sort of, um, um, oh, what do you call it, superficial uh, DS companionship that they have, um, because it's not, it's not open, there's, he wants to be able to say these things and to let himself go, but he can't because he isn't sure that uh, Kurt will accept it, or, or he, and he's not even sure that what Kurt is doing for him now, despite the intimacy it implies, whether Kurt is doing it simply out of obligation, or if he would be willing for something more. And it's, it's becoming this thing where it would be a normal DS relationship, except Kurt and Blaine, being the ages that they are, don't have the mental maturity to realize that they need to talk this shit out and get open streams of communication before they enter into a type of relationship like this. And no one's really there to help them along, and it's just sort of them struggling to figure out the ins and outs of a, a relationship that is essentially a power struggle that is always going to end up a certain way. Um, but, uh, I mean, I don't actually know what I'm going to do with it so as much as make help Shauna realize that DS does not all have to be humiliation so much as it can be two people just taking care of each other. And, um, and you know, in a way that is not considered typical, but is very normal. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, like love and Kurt and Blaine and miscommunication and struggle with that and anger and upsetness and Warbler's trying to be there to help, but they're helping only pisses Kurt off more. So, yeah, that's, that's basically what how to maintain your high maintenance Warbler is going to be. Yeah. And if anybody wants to help with that, or beta it, or anything, you know, just send me a message. I am here for that. So, but that's the end. I think I'm out. Last video for the night, right?